And uh, later on in the night, I hooked up with John Hine and Ralph. We had a three-way uh, conversation. We tried to get a hold of you. You didn't get to Lisa either. I saw. No. And I said, "Oh, maybe Lisa made it." We don't have her name to do it. Like uh. you have to have you have to have people screen. It. It's a little bit complicated. And then we figured out how you can you can just exchange pictures over that thing too. It's very cool. Like you could show each other pictures. Oh. So we were doing that. Like you go into your. Mm -hmm. Some guy called the wrap up show and said, "Hey, to John Hine, you really managed to become one of Howard's good friends." And John indicated that through this technology because john's into it we we are on each other we, we talk to each other all the time uh -huh. and it was really weird when john and i both had an android phone we became very close is that right and then i went and got a iphone from apple and he had the android and i'd come in every day and i stopped talking to him because <laughs> there was really nothing to talk to him about so it's all technology yeah it's a weird relationship and so all of a sudden i think john ralph and i were talking about this john panicked because he no longer had a connection with me. You know, when you have a connection with your boss and, like, you know, it's like... Right, really it's important, close. yeah. And John was teaching me the Android. I come in every morning, have a problem. Then I have to call him later in the day and text him and this and that and the other thing. And we had a real connection. And uh, within three days of not having the same phone as me, John ran out and got an iPhone. That's what I was going to ask. Did he get an iPhone? Yeah, because Ralph called me and said... You know how many years I've been trying to get John to get an iPhone and he won't do it and he wouldn't do it? He goes, within three days of you switching, he went out and got an iPhone. <laughs> That's Because he didn't want to lose his connection with you. Oh, my goodness. But, I mean, he would have always had, you know, the iPad and the yeah. Mac connection. Yeah, but we, we the weren't. Phone was the more phone important. was more of a thing we shared. <laughs> and so one of the callers tried to bust John on it on the wrap up show, but John was having none of it. He, he, he was, scooted <laughs> away. Yeah, you know, he was like acting like, oh, that, that's not true. But meanwhile, here, listen to this. This is just funny to me. I know Howard made a little bit of a big deal about it, but for him to be willing to put his calendar information instead of that book that he carries around, that's a major, major step in Howard's life. That w you know what's so funny? Like that, that, yeah, that's he's made such a big deal about you have to have a book also. Right. Like that. That's like a big, a big announcement of his. If he well, does it. Before we came to serious. Oh, wait, this isn't the one here. Wait. I was going to say book. What are we yeah, talking about? I, I don't know. These guys are into minutia. Here, wait, listen. So you guys noticed how John Hine has slowly wormed, I mean, worked his way up <laughs> into, like, Howard's best friend status list? I'm wondering if that causes any conflict in the back office because, you know, like, John's been up to, to Howard's house now and Will and Jason, for all I know, have not. No, I'm yeah, not... because of all this technology, my phones, and when we both had Androids, John was coming over to my house and we were like wow. doing Android work together. Wait. I'm not aware of any conflict. There's no that's conflict. There. And believe me, I'm not becoming Howard's best friend. I just know a little thing, a little something about the technology and it could help him out. That's, John, that's really don't sell it. Your, don't sell yourself short. You've gone from super fan to now trusted friend. I mean, he goes to you for almost anything. Well, I don't know about that, but when it comes to stuff like this, yeah. I mean, and it's... Uh, you got to admit, John, I was laughing when Ralph pointed it out. It was kind of funny. <laughs> that Why you, did you get an iPhone? Well, what a, sh what a shock that Ralph pointed that out. Right. I mean, but yeah. uh, no, it's not true. What that came from was i have been thinking about it, and you talked me into it. Every morning when we were talking, you're like, you got to get this thing. You got to get this thing. But Ralph said he's been saying that to you for years. That he felt that you really felt kind of weird that you didn't have that connection with me through the phone. I, I, I think you could admit to that a little bit. I think I'm buying that. I, I think you ran right out and got that iPhone. I think we could have gotten through it, Howard. I don't know. I, 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 don't know. I didn't need the. All right. If, okay. If the battery didn't. Although someone did put up a note here, John pretended to like chess to be closer to you too. That's uh. Oh, there's a few dots connecting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because John and I were every minute with our phones, our yeah, phone, our yeah. phone, and a phone, and then all of a sudden. I, I would walk by him in the morning. We had nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he got the iPhone, we had something to talk about. Then back to talking. Back to talking. <laughs> we were like, hey, what apps do you like? Hey, I like this one. What do you like? And you do like the iPhone. I do. Yeah, he even said to me, I don't know why I waited He so was long. resistant to the iPhone. Well, I didn't get it. What I had said all along was if it ever went to Verizon, I would get it. Uh -huh. And then when it came to Verizon, eventually I got it. Uh -huh. I feel I pushed him toward it. Yeah. Of course. Because Howard did. I mean, that's really... Well, reasonable. you love the Android. No, I, the one thing I didn't I like... I got him off it quick. <laughs> ...was the battery life. I love the BlackBerry, too, but the iPhone's better. It I, is. It's he, fantastic. Even if Howard gives up his iPhone, I will stick with mine. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm not giving mine up. Test him. <laughs> I'm a big iPhone Tell guy. him you gave it up. <laughs> I got a nuke shitty phone.
Which one? The HTC Thunderbolt. <laughs> Tell us there's something better just to say. Yeah, and I was actually video conferencing with him last night. And Well, the best part was that Ralph couldn't get his computer to work. <laughs> Mr. So great. Mr. Mac. Do you know how he's Mr. Mac oh, and how yeah. everything's so easy to work? John and I are chatting beautifully over the computer and seeing each other. And every time Ralph got on... He'd talk and nothing would work. And I'd go, your equipment is so shitty. You don't know how to work it. And he'd get all upset because oh, that's great. he was the original Mac guy. And i go, you know, you just don't know how to work your equipment. Yeah, he's always giving, you know, he's like yeah. offering tutorials. He can't work his equipment. Meanwhile, John and I were fine. <laughs> what was going on there? He Clearly, he's got faulty equipment. Maybe he thinks he knows Macs, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, clearly, he doesn't know how to do it. We, were, we, we, were, we were fine. <laughs> had no problem. You managed that's to right. do it without yeah. him. I was so busy at one point. My when you do this chatting on the video links, you get this like uh, invite to be a part of a chat. Right. And so a little beeper goes off. Well, at one point, someone was inviting me to a chat, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I had my iPhone, my iPad, <laughs> and my computer. Everything was beeping. I'm turning on the iPad. I can't find. It was John calling me. I got. I can't find them on the iPad. I can't find them on the iPhone, and I'm unlocking and passcoding and blah 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 blah. Finally, I realized he was calling me on my computer, <laughs> and then I missed the call. Oh, my I goodness. I mean, there's so much equipment out there, so much gear. Right. It's too much, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And I even signed up for iChat, you know, to make sure it was working just in case, and I missed you guys. Yeah, well, you got to kind of be there, and it, it's weird. I, I missed a bunch of them, too, because you got to be in front of your computer in order to get chatting. Yeah, a couple of things. I, you know, I'm still having trouble just... Being on that equipment. Yeah, it'll get used to it. Yeah. It'll work itself out. We also, we also got to see Ralph's whole setup behind his... What's weird, this eye chatting is really kind of cool because, because I had never been in Ralph's apartment, and I can only imagine what it would look like. And suddenly I was in Ralph's apartment, and, and you could see everything. I was shocked that he even had shelves and like things on oh, shelves. Oh, yeah, he organizes everything. Yeah, well, I guess he's got time. I don't know what he does all day, but... Anyway, most He's always of his, talking about, yeah, I put up these shelves, and I've got goes, my collection. I've, well, John, John and I go, hey, it looks really like you got a lot of things back there. He goes, oh, this is my work. Work? His work. And I went, what is that? So I said to John, what the fuck is his work? So he starts, like, it's like these little drawings he makes and his art. And where does this go? What is this? I don't know what job he has other than buying my clothes. I, I, he has no job, but he has his work. He calls it work, but I don't think it apparently makes no money. Like, to me, work is when you make money. Work has a, a money aspect associated with it. Like, I know assholes. Hobbies that, don't. Right. Like, I call photography a hobby. You know why? Because you don't make money. Yeah, yet. and I'm no good at it. Uh, Ralph, on the other hand, apparently has a million hobbies. And he calls them work. He calls them work. I know somebody else like that. Who is this? I'd rather not say who the person is. I want to keep it vague. But they always talk about their work, their work, and they've never earned a dime. But they go on auditions all the time, and, all uh, the, you know, and, they, and they don't they, they, they don't understand it's not your work until you get booked. Right. That's not what you do. Yeah. That's what you'd like to do. Yeah, yeah, you'd like to be in the business. <laughs> You're not in it. You've never actually booked a job, you fucking maniac. And then I know a lot of artists, quote-unquote artists. You know, they went to art school and stuff, right. and they, they they sit around and, like, and you know. And they paint or they or, do or, their or, thing. Or they carve a piece of wood, and they yeah. call it their work. And it's not your fucking work, you <laughs> maniac. It's your, you're a, you're, you have a hobby like I do. <laughs> so John and I are on there, and Ralph goes, yeah, this is all my work. And he starts, like, pointing out, like, these little scraps of paper, like, you know, in kindergarten when they hang up your pictures? Yeah, yeah. On the, like the magnet on the refrigerator yeah, with well, the picture yeah. under it. He's got a wall and he's got tacked to the wall like these little like what were you? What the fuck was? I don't know. It was a creepy little corner of Ralph's world. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it really was. And then he started. Then then we got into a weird competition between me, John, and Ralph. And Ralph definitely is going to win this when he goes. All right, get your coolest thing out and uh, let's let's see your coolest thing. So I immediately <laughs> grabbed my Iron Man helmet. Right. That um, John Favreau got me from the movie. And Ralph goes, oh, that's nothing. And he grabs an Iron Man helmet. And I go, that's not from the movie. Mine's cooler. This is what this is ridiculous. This is what was going on last night when I should have been doing something meaningful, like watching 60 Minutes. 
Uh, then, uh, so he goes, no, 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 you can put mine on. And he had his helmet on. Oh, so he can put his on yeah. his head. Yeah. And I'm like, well, good. Well, mine was in a movie. <laughs> this is what we were doing. <laughs> what did John show? I couldn't compete. John showed his dog. <laughs> Hey, you had some stuff, but nothing really that... No, nothing like you guys had. Rob had that Spider-Man thing, too, he kept showing. The Venom mask and... Well, then at one point he pulled out a full Iron Man figurine, and I go, Hey, you fuck, I gave you that. <laughs> can't right. pull that out. <laughs> Iron Man figurine. That was figurine. the other thing John Favreau sent you. You gave it to Ralph? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you showed and Ralph's th pulling it out as one of his cool things. Well, you showed that, that Senator Stern nameplate from yeah. the movie, and Ralph's like, who, who cares? What the hell is the that? The actual nameplate that Gary Shandling used in Iron Man 2. Right. Where he's Senator Stern. I pulled that out. That wins, right? <laughs> of Absolutely. course. Winning. That's that trumps name. everything. That trumps everything. He's like, oh, big shit. I go, well, you know, I'm not playing this anymore. If that's big shit, then go fuck yourself. He's not going to play fair. Yeah. And then, uh, then we started getting into pictures. So I showed pictures of Beth, <laughs> and you even said I was winning the picture thing. Yeah, you know, because Ralph was. Oh, he, Ralph had a couple interesting photos. He had some good photos, but nothing great. What is he showing photos of? I don't know. Mostly John Stamos's girlfriend, honestly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that he and I'm like, he, they're not fucking her. John is. But they were good pictures. <laughs> and then somehow, when we were video conferencing. Um, Ralph, we, John and I started talking about Richard Christie. Oh, I had a picture of Richard Christie uh -huh. when he was fatter, and we all agreed that he looked better fat. Oh. That, he, that he has a lollipop head now, and he looks you like think? an yeah, he looks like an anorexic chick. And then John and I were talking about that Richard's getting married, and then Ralph goes, "I don't think Richard invited me to his wedding." Oh, really? I go, yeah, I don't think he likes you. And meanwhile, John goes, John rubbed it in. John goes, Richard invited everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you didn't get to save the date? That doesn't mean you're not invited necessarily. Right. Well, I think people know not to invite Ralph. A, he doesn't give anyone a gift. Or he says he's going to give a gift. Or what, never... did he, what did he do? He went out and got votive candles or something? I don't know. He gives shitty gifts. Yeah. Because he has no money. His work, apparently, his workstation. He should give some of his work. His work, yeah, he should wrap up some of that work. <laughs> with a that fish. helmet. Yeah. <laughs> and give it to him. But his, his apartment seemed to have, like, like a lot of shelves, which I was shocked, and stocked with things and, you know, little things. But it was funny when he started talking about his work, right? I, I couldn't tell what was on all those shelves. Yeah, it was just packed with shit. And it was dark. It was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was scary. Well, I know a girl who actually was dating him for like five minutes, and she was in there, and she started crying when she saw his apartment because she thought he was, she was dating like a seven-year-old, and she had a real heavy foreign accent, this chick. Right. And she was like, she. I met her, and she goes, I don't know. I invited them over because it was the like first time Ralph had a girlfriend, and, and he hasn't had one since. In 500 years. Yeah, in 500 years, he hasn't had one in 500 years, which you can't figure out what his sexuality is because why doesn't he have a girlfriend? He's 45 years old. And so, or maybe 47. I think you're right at 47. Yeah. And so the girl was like, ah, oh, I went to his apartment and I see big picture Pamela Anderson <laughs> and I go what is this like a two-year-old then I walk and he's got all these Star Wars <laughs> Star Wars so I run into the bathroom and I call my friend Star and I say he got Star Wars and Pam Anderson she says Run for the hills. <laughs> Head for the hills. And I start to cry. Oh I go, what God. do you mean you started to cry? You're, you're on the bathroom floor crying? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ralph was like, I don't care. Leave. Don't come into my... He, he didn't change his apartment around for... Like, you take down the poster of Aunt Pamela Anderson. It's like a fucking kid. I think at that time, he had a full a Pamela Anderson stand-in yeah. from the movie Barbed Wire. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> like in his apartment. Later on, he showed me a picture of what his apartment used to look like, what she saw. Yeah. She made the right move. <laughs> <laughs> I laid down on the Princess Leia rug and cried. <laughs> no, but then she ended up staying, and she did fuck him. But they didn't go out for for long, did they? Like they were um, six months, maybe. 
No, six months. That's a long it, time. And you know what it was? She lived in L.A., so she would call him. And Ralph is one of these guys, I don't know what happened in his life, you know, his childhood, but he can't tolerate people and women and 